Hey, what's going on, guys? Lazarus here. Hope you guys are uh, having a great day. Thank you for tuning in. So, I have something that has driven me up the wall, like literally trying to figure out how to um, get how how to able to stream with my DAW. So I'm using Studio One here, and um, I'm telling you. I watched videos after videos and contacted support and this is just one of those things you have to figure out on your own uh, to figure out how to make it work so there's a lot of people out there trying to figure out how to get a clean microphone sound how to get a um, the DAW to capture into OBS uh, so I, I figured out my concoction and I want to share it with you guys because my solution could be one of your guys's. So let's start off first. Um, this is the important, uh, the important mixer within the computer that you definitely need. So it's called Voice Meter. I'll put down the link where you can download it. Um, but essentially, it's a mixer within the computer so here um, the first input is my hyper X and I'm gonna go through this one first and then I'm gonna go with the other settings just so you kinda know um, what my settings how I started to get the results that I wanted again so the input one is a headset microphone for my headset because I'm using this microphone um, for to pick up my voice but I muted it the reason why I muted it because OBS also picks up the microphone and I'm just letting OBS record it off that side instead of this one. If that makes sense. Um, you get a like, little phasing issue and it sounds weird so I just muted the one right here. Um, th this virtual input will be where your DAW comes in and you'll be able to hear it through your headphones via these auxiliary outs so you don't do anything here you just leave it as is because that's a, the 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 default option there so here I chose my headphones out and here if I if I did choose the uh, the Realtek digital output which is my computers my uh, custom PCs uh, audio driver which honestly made everything work after trying to figure out settings and all these different audio options um, I'll tell you what um, my biggest uh, issue is was trying to figure out how to make my Apollo 8 work with all this stuff so um, that's what worked for me again one audio input headphones Microphone muted. Skip this, skip this. Audio uh, auxiliary out one. Headphones, because I want to hear stuff through my headphones. And definitely chose auxiliary two for my driver within my PC. Alright. That's out of the way. Within Studio One, uh, went to options chose the voice meter virtual uh, ASIO driver and there's definitely some uh, some latency with this so what I was trying to do and if anybody's figured out how to do this is I wanted to play my guitar and stream that shit but I wasn't able to so um, just click here so if I was to if I was to engage my my open track here and I play my guitar it goes wee annoying as fuck so that's the only thing you have to do there uh, with uh, within the DAW so I'm gonna bring over um, my what I did here for OBS and I'm using Streamlabs I don't know why it's the only it's the one that I got introduced to and I, the one that I use so um, 
I had to label these because the way it went, when you click add, it just says audio device out in. It gets very complicated. So as I was um, inputting these, I was making sure that I was labeling them just so I know what the heck um, I was doing. So I'll show you guys. Obviously, video capture device is the camera here. Um, display is my monitor. I have two monitors, so I'm, I chose the one that I wanted. So this is the bad boy right here. So Studio One Audio. So I'll open up the properties, and you see why I chose that Realtek audio uh, high, high definition audio driver because that's what picked up on Studio and and OBS from Studio One to OBS. I don't know why, guys. That's the way it was on my computer. And again, remember I told you guys my microphone here off my my headphones. I had to manually choose them uh, because the default option was not working. Guys, I hope this video really helps at least one person out there. And if you're that one person that it helped out, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Because now that I figured this shit out, I can do more videos comfortably without having to have audio issues, dropouts, spikes, and all that stuff. So, thanks guys.